So I'm here at Damon Bungard's house. We're getting ready to go to the uh, Tennessee Classic. We got turkeys gobbling across the road. Got the truck loaded up and we're about ready to head out. This guy right here looks familiar. How are you doing? I've seen your face on the internet. <laughs> The Tennessee Classic is a 3D archery shoot that takes place a little bit north of Nashville in May of every year. And one of the coolest things about the Classic is an event they call the Self Bow Challenge, where you have to build a bow on site and then shoot the course with it. And uh, this is my first time to the Classic, so I thought I'd give it a try. Play hay to a reasonable facsimile. <laughs> How you doing? Good. I'm a Patreon. You're, all right. Yeah, good. white tail levels all I can have. All right. In fact, you've helped me a lot on it. Good. What, what's your name? Gary Bill from South Carolina. I've emailed you a bunch of questions, and you keep firing back. Well, good. Answers. Good. I'm glad I could help yeah, you. I want to thank you for that. Well, well, good. I've been bothering you before the Patreon thing started. <laughs> well, I, I need to get some more folks signed up for that. It's, it's actually doing yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, yeah. most of these are good. I mean, they're this good wood. Um, for for e for something real easy, you will look for something that splits real clean like that. Like you yeah. see how this one's got some grain tear out. Yeah. I mean, those those will make good bows, but they're not. It's not going to be quite as easy as something like this. Yeah. You know. I guess these how is even like this. I mean, that's clean. This is clean. I'm getting tired. Are you? Uh, I want to look at the growth rings on the other side of this. That's a heavy piece of wood. That's good. Good. Um, I mean, this one's, you need to go down a couple of rings, but this, I mean, that's a good piece. It's got a little bit of twist to it, but you can take that out. Staves at home looks pretty rough compared to this. I've got a bunch that looks rougher than this. <laughs> when you cut Osage, it's inevitable. You're going to have a bunch of. One of the best things about going to this kind of event is just getting to meet and hang out with really good, like minded folks. And this event in particular uh, draws a lot of people that are really into self bows. A lot of folks from the Primitive Archer Forum to come to this event just to hang out and meet each other, swap ideas, and uh, just catch up. If you're interested in making your own bow, uh, this is a great event to do it at. There's a lot of guys that really, really know their stuff when it comes to self bows. Um, they've got a lot of tools, a lot of work area, and there's plenty of knowledgeable bowyers to help you through the process. I went ahead and roughed out a bow on the first day and just to do something a little bit different I decided to go ahead and make a recurve and got a lot of questions uh, and interest about putting in curves with dry heat which is what I have been doing for the last couple of years. Um, these were some fairly tight curves uh, to do with dry heat but uh, what I found is if you heat just the sides and avoid heating the belly you can uh, you can put in some fairly tight curves without uh, raising splinters or cracking the belly side uh, when you bend this wood over Aside from the bow building, there's a ton of other things going on. There's the 3D courses that they have set up. Uh, there's flint napping going on. There's great food and just great people to hang out with. Welcome to Tennessee in springtime.
the second day of the event, it, it just rained like cats and dogs. Uh, but it did clear up a little bit towards the afternoon, and we got to shoot some of James Parker's horn-belly bows, which I've never done before, uh, and they were absolutely amazing. What's the weight on this at 28, approximately? Oh, I'd say 58, 60. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can get this sucker back, then. Yeah, you can. I thought the same thing. Holy shit, Ooh. sucker's slinging them. Yeah. Oh, and them's the heavy one. You shoot one in the garbage too, yeah. and you go, holy crap. That just doesn't feel right. <laughs> just the, 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 the stress that uh, the sinew-horn combination will take and the speed that you can get out of these bows is, is phenomenal. Right, let me see that other one. Can I shoot that one? Sure. Uh, this is target bow. <laughs> yeah, and you can this, hold this for a comment. And this day. guy is, it's only 42 yeah, pounds, but yeah. it shoots. He's shooting carbons. I mean, it spits them out like rockets. Yeah, you can hold it for a day. It's com that bow's really comfortable, actually. Well, I got one just like it for another cu a customer. It's like 75. Yeah. But it don't feel 75. Man, it will really shoot the snot out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that bow's so comfortable. Like a target bow. James does some He's amazing work. Regular. regular. Now, those liver canes there, and they got big, heavy tips on them. So that's like a regular three rivers air that you can get. That's cool. It is. And ain't no big secret on building these. They're easy to build. It's to put the sinew on. Yeah. Knowing how to do it and then knowing what to do to open it up. And they're tillered with heat and shaped with heat. Wow. So that bow, unstrung before it ever ever was strung while it was seasoning. The handle don't change, but the limb come up like this and the hook. And then as it dried, it come down here. So all this is put in with heat. Oh, wow. And it's all tilled with just... After it's in, after you put the sinew on? Yeah, it's all tilled with, with heat over a brazier. You know what a brazier is? Uh-uh. It's like a, a, a little um, pot with just coals and you put a lid on it so there's no smoke that heats it up. Okay. And, and this heats up like 10 seconds. It'll get so hot that you do this and you're like, oh, wow. it's a, it conducts heat more than copper does. Wow. And then that's how you form the limbs. So this one will shoot a lot <coughs> faster when all this gets narrowed down to just a tee wee tiny bit and that'll knock a bunch off. That's cool. I appreciate you letting me shoot them. Yeah, yeah. man. I appreciate you taking the interest. Oh, well, the, after I've seen the artwork on the other ones, I'm like. <laughs> those, are, those are absolutely beautiful. You should get a lot of attention for this. <laughs> so after the rain stopped, uh, Damon and I and Nathan Coleman would seek outside, grabbed her bows, and went out and shot Fine the shot. second half of the course. Give me something to aim for. Amazing what happens when your knock stays put. Look at this. We're aiming for it. Look at this coming together. Which one did you shoot at? Second one. Look at that. Oh, you almost got the 20 hey, point. I, I saw where it landed. <laughs> I did too. I saw where that one landed. That's you want it. another arrow? No. <laughs> like, make sure you get one. Do you want a pregnant shot? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm having a baby. <laughs> that takes skill, Damon. How do you do that? That's amazing. Get even closer for that. <laughs> I'd actually shot the first half the, the day before while it was raining. Um, and because nice. my, my self bow wasn't sealed against the weather, I, I went ahead and shot a laminated glass bow. And so I wasn't able to uh, turn in my score for the self bow challenge. But that doesn't matter. The best part about a 3D shoot is just getting out on the course uh, and having some fun with your buddies. You're welcome. You're welcome to go for it. But, uh... I ain't worried about no ring. And there's like a blade of grass coming up point, like the tip of it is right on the perfect, like, hit spot. <laughs> ah! Right 
over his back. I didn't even hear foam on that one, Damon. I missed high on the honey badger. What happened? Setting the bar low. You don't need to be going to Vegas. No, I'm not good in Vegas. <laughs> I was up a few hundred bucks once and I bet it all. My friend was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I want to know what it's like to bet it all. And I lost it all. <laughs> so now I know what both feel like. I'm gonna shoot him again. Him. This is kind of like when we were hunting those shooting arrows of those groundhogs in Idaho and they just kept popping up and going away. He's moving on me is what he's doing. I'll go with that. There you go. If you're into traditional archery and you've never been to one of these traditional 3D shoots, you really got to get off your butt and get to one because they are a ton of fun. And if you are interested in going to one of these things, all you've got to do is get on uh, the web, get in contact with the local right archery right club, and if you can't find them, uh, get on some of the forums, uh, traditional bow hunter forum, uh, trad gang, leather wall, uh, primitive archer, all of those, uh, all those places have knowledgeable folks that know what's going on around the country and they can uh, put you on to uh, some good events. So with that, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time.